very good morning. You are listening to Sun Breakfast Express right here on Sun FM, the freshest wave of radio. Thank you so much for just joining us. We are talking about accountability today because it is a topic or a discussion that needs to be had. We need to start having like real talk when it comes to uh, everything that is going on in our country because sometimes it can be a little too much. There has to be consequences for all these things that we are complaining about. And uh, it's not just the complaints. I'm glad that we have institutions that are in place that hold people accountable for their actions. At the Alliance for Community Action, our main um, objective is to institute uh, accountability in the general public. So what we would like to do is not for the SEA to speak for communities in um, Choma, where these girls are based, or Kitwe and Indola, we would like the communities to speak for themselves. And even the girls, we don't want them to be the ones that uh, speak and say that there's a water problem in this area. We want them to go into the communities and get the voice of the community. The Alliance for Community Action, with support from GIZ, invites young ladies in Choma, Dola and Kitwe, aged between 15 and 30 years, are engaged in their community and have stories to share to apply to become a citizen journalist under the Speak Up Girls project. My sister saw the ad on Facebook then she forwarded it to me because she knew that I'm very much into uh, journalism things so she forwarded to me and I got interested and then I applied for it. My challenge is I'm being I'm going to face a 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 for the voices of the socially marginalized and remote groups to be heard, access to IT cannot be overemphasized and can help promote transparency and accountability. Being part of the Speak Up Girls is more it's one way of like exploring my dream and learning more about journalism so that even if I decide to go and do it in the university, I will have that idea of how everything is done. Not everyone has this privilege of uh, being in this program. It's a privilege for me to learn more and more things about governance issues. Arising from the success of a project called Speak Up Zambia, Speak Up Girls seeks to move young women and girls from a place of vulnerability to becoming citizen journalists with the aim to improve conditions for digital media use. I've learned a lot from the Speak Up Girls. The accountability thing is the most important thing that I've learned. Like, us as citizens who are responsible, we can make our duty bearers to be accountable, to tell us how they spend our public funds. I've learned how to communicate with people. I've learned, I've gone to places I've never gone. Like when making stories, you don't have to make stories in one area. You have to travel. So I've learned how to communicate with people, how to socialize with them, how to be friendly with everyone, whatever you're doing your stories and all that. The Speak Up Girls project is part of the German Development Corporation and as such is funded by the German Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development. It is implemented by the Civil Society Participation Program of the GIZ. When capturing our audios and videos, we use uh, our phones. So my phone, I use my phones usually, then I use my headset as a microphone. So as I'm capturing, in case there is a lot of wind, as I'm capturing, I try to use the, uh, the headset to give the person that I'm interviewing to use as a, as a microphone. I just like to download an app called Viva Video to be using for editing my stories. Participants are enabled to develop and publish reports on provided social media channels and local radio stations. Additionally, Civil Society Participation Program partners with TEDx Lusaka in order to provide the young women and girls with more opportunities for mentorship and visibility. This ultimately complements the training programs that the project provides. The performance of the girls have, has been so good so far. Uh, we spent obviously two months of uh, the project, you know, to teach the girls how to write the story. What is a good story? Good story is a story that uh, has facts. It has to be balanced. It needs to have a source. Uh, you need to follow up on information. 
the information doesn't have to be cut short. So it needs to check all the principles of uh, good uh, journalism or story writing. Good journalism is being able to like produce good stories which are credible. You have backup sources where you can get from evidence and proof. I'm a voice for Tuatasha community. If somebody, if we have an issue in our community, somebody will know, okay, Violet is there, let me talk to her. And once they talk to Violet, Violet will make a story about that and publish that story. So as, they, as I publish that story, maybe somebody will look at it and say, okay, there's, there's um, help that is needed in this area. So I feel like a journalist should be uh, a voice to the community and able to communicate um, fully. The Speak Up Girls project works using a rights-based approach, which means that those in positions of power are held accountable and responsible for their actions. The performance of the girls has been excellent. Uh, we have uh, so far collected 71 uh, stories uh, from both uh, Choma and uh, Copper Belt and these stories are already receiving a lot of uh, following and attention on our social media platforms. Uh, they've been uh, scheduled for broadcast on Baita FM and Sun FM, so we're really proud of our girls. And we're looking forward to their graduation because at the end of all this, they will have a graduation to uh, now certify them as citizen journalists. Speak up girls, congratulations. Happy graduation and uh, thank you ACA for um, implementing this project. Thank you GIZ for supporting it. Congratulations uh, to the girls who are graduating today. Congratulations. It's not easy. Ladies, congratulations and well done. We wish you well and look forward to seeing and hearing your names as you continue to make a difference and create an impact. At the end of the training, participants are expected to be confident citizen journalists that can influence the communities that they live in. I won the best story and were graduates who graduated in Lusaka as journalists. All thanks to Alliance for Community Action and GIZ for empowering us with all the tools that we needed, the information, the knowledge.